Hi there, gaming fans. As you know, I like to start the first series of each year by telling you all what to look forward to from the world of games. But I was looking back on last year's hopes and dreams and, well, a lot of them were delayed. So maybe 2022 will be the year that we finally get hold of all of those delayed games and hardware, like Valve's handheld Steam Deck. It could also be the year of the acquisition. Chinese company Tencent has already bought the British Sumo Group for $1.3 billion. Sony wants to buy Bungie, the creators of Halo, for $3.6 billion. And mega publisher Take-Two plans to nab Zynga, the creators of Farmville, for $12.7 billion. But all of that will pale in comparison if Microsoft gets its way and acquires Call of Duty creator Activision Blizzard for the whopping sum of $68.7 billion. So what does that mean for us? Well, it sure does seem like Sony and Microsoft are trying to win us over by making big games like Destiny and COD exclusive to their platforms. Given how expensive all of these consoles are, we could all have some difficult decisions ahead. Those who managed to pre-order a Playdate last year will finally get their hands on one. This adorable yellow handheld with a crank comes with 24 games delivered weekly over the internet, so you get that regular excitement of something new. Meanwhile, what are we going to play on the consoles that we already have? 2018's award-winning God of War is getting a Ragnarok-themed sequel for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, which should hopefully finally arrive this year. And I know that a lot of my friends are hoping that Nintendo will soon be ready to finally release its promised, though currently unnamed, sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The original topped many a game of the year list back in 2017, so I am fascinated to see how this one can possibly compare. Maybe we'll finally get to play as Zelda. And then there's Elden Ring, the open-world action-adventure game from the creators of the notoriously difficult Dark Souls, made in collaboration with George R. R. Martin, the author of the unfinished series of fantasy novels, A Song of Ice and Fire. Can that huge open map deliver the same kinds of memorable moments that people love so much about Dark Souls? And for those of you who like something a bit more left field, I've got some games for you too. Keep an eye out for Stray, in which you play as a cat trying to escape from a cyberpunk city inhabited by robots. Like cute games? In Bear and Breakfast, you play as a bear renovating an abandoned shack in the woods to turn it into a B&B. &B. And food lovers, like me, should check out Bemba, a narrative-focused game all about family in which you cook up delicious-looking meals. So it looks like 2022 will be packed full of games after all, and I still should just about have time for my daily game of Wordle. See you next time.